Hi everyone, my name is Lynn Cockett and I'm a communication professor here. And I've been asked to talk to you about cultural humility. When I first thought about the concept of cultural humility, as a language person and a word person, I started to sort of pick apart the two words that make up the phrase. So, you know, culture is the semi easy one. I mean, I think we can all pretty much say, I know what a culture is. A culture is um, the shared practices and beliefs of some group of people. And although many people might define it differently, I think that we have a general idea of what a culture is. And a culture can be based on national origin or region of a country or part of the world, or it can be as small as a friendship or family culture. Anywhere that people share understandings that are unique and different from other people's understandings, that's what I think is where a culture is. Now, that's fairly simple, but I think humility is a little bit of a harder word for us to tackle because, at least for me, as a person raised in a white, middle-class, Western, American, Northeastern, fast-paced place, I was not taught that humility was a strong characteristic of a human. In fact, strength was a better characteristic and pride. I mean, we're proud Americans. We're proud Juniatians, aren't we? But humility means to humble oneself. It means to take a back seat sometimes. It means to listen. It means to have empathy. And it means to have a desire to share in understanding others. So I'm gonna give you like a super quick example that is a little bit embarrassing, but I think it kind of makes good sense. And it's about poop. So a couple of years ago, I went and taught a class at a university that Juniata has a partnership with in Taiwan. In the big city of Taipei, um, I had never been in a city that big before. It's huge. It's so cosmopolitan. There's so much to do. It's extraordinary. So as a Westerner, I was quite surprised when I discovered a squat toilet for the first time. <clears throat> so I'm in this very big, very modern city, and then I see a toilet that doesn't look anything like what I expect. And in my Western mind, it looks not very good. So I have to think to myself for a minute, like I gotta either deal with this or have a real problem because I'm here for a month, right? So I dealt with it. And by the time I came home, I of course wasn't even thinking about it. Until I got home and a new semester started and I had some students here from Taiwan who were from that very university that I was teaching at. And those students came into class on the first day and said, your bathrooms are horrible. And I was flabbergasted. I was like, what are you talking about? I mean, I learned how to use those squat toilets, but at least we've got a place to sit. No, it turns out the thing that they thought was horrible was that all of our doors have gaps in them. You can see right in there in that little crack between the doors on a stall bathroom, or you can look underneath, right? You can't do that in Taiwan. They respect one another's privacy, right? So it's super weird that like, I had this moment of being like, ew, these people are weird. They don't know how to use a bathroom. And then my students came here and they were like, ew, these people are weird. They don't know how to use a bathroom. None of us are weird. We're all just different. And what we need to do is kind of double check ourselves when we hear weird or um, even different with a, with a crinkled nose, right? We want to sort of be curious and thoughtful when we encounter situations like that. For many of us on this campus, it feels like home. It feels just like where we grew up or where we came from or places that we've been in our lives forever. For many others, it feels so new and so different and scary. And if we think again about that concept of cultural humility, I want you to think about all the different words that are connected to humility. We talked about being humble, but we didn't talk about what it means to be humiliated. You all know what that means, and hopefully not too many of you have experienced the feeling of humiliation before. But gosh, maybe the one way to avoid humiliation is to begin with humility. I know that sounds a little bit trite and pat, 
But as a community here at Juniata, I think one of the things that we're really striving to do is to be humble with one another, to be curious and ask questions rather than make assumptions, and also to be patient and respectful when people decide it's not their job to teach us everything that we wanna know about their culture. So another way to practice that cultural humility is to do some reading. So back to the toilets. One of the ways that I got used to the toilets was by doing some reading about them. And as it turns out, squatting is the most healthy way to poop. So poop squatting, be humble, and help us build an awesome culture at Juniata.